with its beautiful desert landscapes, rich cultural heritage, and abundance of sunshine, New Mexico seems like an ideal place to settle down. But its enchanting facade hides challenges that make many reconsider calling it home. Join us on Globe Trekking as we uncover the top reasons people don't move to New Mexico. We'll trek through persistent issues plaguing the land of enchantment, from economic woes to dangerous wildlife. You may be surprised to learn how this picturesque state can be uninviting once you scratch below the surface. So buckle up as we roam from the desolate north to the unforgiving borderlands, revealing why New Mexico lives up to its state motto. It grows on you very slowly. Number 15, unpredictable weather and treacherous roads. New Mexico's beautiful landscape comes with a catch, baffling weather and risky roads. With little warning, sunshine can switch to hail or blinding dust storms can sweep the highways. The state's diverse topography fuels local microclimates and bizarre weather like tornadoes and flash floods. Driving is equally unpredictable, with accidents caused by wandering livestock a real danger. Remote two-lane desert roads only add to the risks. While stunning scenery fills the windows, keep hands firmly on the wheel. Because in New Mexico, you never know what's around the next bend. Number 14. Persistent Drought The land of enchantment may be better described as the land of dry enchantment. New Mexico suffers from long-term drought, with nearly half the state mired in severe conditions since 1999. Limited rainfall means water is a precious resource. Cities like Albuquerque and Santa Fe enforce strict water rations, while rural communities worry their wells could run permanently dry. For those accustomed to green lawns and long showers, preparing mentally for New Mexico's desert climate is a must. You'll learn to treasure every life-giving raindrop that dares fall from the sky. Number 13, difficult transportation. With two massive deserts dominating the landscape, New Mexico is decidedly car country. But don't expect smooth sailing on the open road. Public transportation is extremely limited, while existing roadways leave much to be desired. The state ranks 46th in transit coverage, leaving many rural towns isolated. Poor funding has left roads and bridges in disrepair. Expect potholes and deteriorating pavement. Costly car repairs quickly eat into any savings from cheap housing. So rely on four wheels instead of two feet to traverse New Mexico's far-flung attractions. Just be sure to pack patience for the bumpy rides and indirect routes between locales. Number 12. Lack of well-paying jobs. New Mexico's struggling economy is a major barrier for potential residents. With 0.0% job growth in 2022 and GDP returning just 83 cents per dollar, good opportunities are in short supply. The state hemorrhaged 80,000 jobs during the Great Recession and retains one of America's highest income inequality gaps. Generations of families still live below the poverty line. New Mexico's unemployment rate also chronically exceeds national levels. Expect to settle for lower earnings unless you work remotely or bring an existing job along. Just don't expect robust career options if making the move. Number 11. High Poverty Rate Hand in hand with scant jobs is New Mexico's rampant poverty, especially impacting its Hispanic and Native American populations. One in five residents fall below the poverty line, the second highest rate of any state. Rural areas and Indian reservations are particularly economically distressed. This poverty fuels urban blight, drug abuse, high school dropouts, and more. New Mexico ranks 50th for child well-being, with many lacking basic necessities. These bleak realities contradict the state's scenic image. While the landscape is unspoiled, decades-long poverty continues eroding communities. For idealists seeking new beginnings, New Mexico's economic hardship is disheartening. Number 10. Crumbling Infrastructure New Mexico's infrastructure is on par with its dismal economy, steadily declining. With a C-grade from the American Society of Civil Engineers, expect to traverse shoddy streets and hazardous bridges. The state has America's second highest percentage of structurally deficient bridges. 
Chunks of concrete falling from overpasses are not uncommon. Rural thoroughfares lack guardrails, lighting, and shoulders. New Mexico's education system is equally distressed, with over 300 public schools ranked as below average. While dazzling mesas fill the horizon, basics like smooth roads and solid public services can't be taken for granted. Number 9. High Crime Rate New Mexico's Wild West reputation persists partly thanks to its rampant crime, especially in Albuquerque and tribal areas. Violent offenses occur at nearly twice the national average. With limited economic options, meth and heroin abuse fuel gang-related violence. Native American women in New Mexico suffer the highest rates of murder or disappearance. Car thefts, home burglaries, and property crimes are also commonplace. Certainly, beautiful pockets of civility exist, but visitors expecting a modern, progressive state may be taken aback by New Mexico's lingering lawlessness. Keeping one's guard up is the price of tranquility here. Number 8. Drug Issues As we've learned, New Mexico contends with entrenched substance abuse, particularly meth and opioids. In fact, the state has America's highest drug overdose death rate, 41% above the national average. Factors like poverty, lack of youth activities, and proximity to trafficking routes perpetuate addiction. New Mexicans seek treatment at nearly double the rates of other states. While vibrant arts and culture thrive, families moving here should be prepared for the prevalence of drugs. From harrowing stories to visible blight, the grip of addiction is inescapable and may dampen New Mexico's appeal. Number 7. Scarce employment options. With New Mexico sitting at 50th for livability and business climate, finding a stable job is no easy feat. The state is heavily economically reliant on federal funding and the oil industry. Periods of prosperity quickly give way to busts when commodities drop. New Mexico was the only state to lose jobs from 2007 to 2014. Unemployment remains chronically high at 4.6%. Navigating this shaky job market takes grit and ingenuity. The advice for newcomers? Arrive with a remote job already secured or be ready to blaze your own trail. Just don't expect a smooth climb up the corporate ladder. Number six, radioactive stigma. New Mexico will forever be linked to nuclear technology, whether it's the Trinity Site Mushroom Cloud or Los Alamos National Lab. While vital research occurs here, the legacy of radioactive contamination lingers. Pollution from labs like Sandia and Los Alamos enter the air, soil, and waterways, impacting the health of communities. New Mexico also hosts America's only deep underground nuclear waste repository. For individuals already wary of atomic technology's legacy, the thought of raising a family near such sites is worrisome. New Mexico's inescapable nuclear imprint means coming to terms with lingering low-level radiation. Number 5. Deadly Desert Dwellers New Mexico's wilderness offers endless enchantment if you don't mind the deadly critters calling at home. We're talking tarantulas, scorpions, gila monsters, black widows, and the mythical chupacabra. The desert is also home to rattlers, brown recluse spiders, Africanized killer bees, and rabid mammals like foxes. Night brings even more creatures like kangaroo rats and coyotes. Urban areas offer refuge from wildlife, although habitat fragmentation means critters still find their way into homes. For the skittish, living in harmony with New Mexico's wild menagerie is challenging. Number 4. Prickly Plants New Mexico's fauna isn't the only natural feature eager to poke, stab, or otherwise prick you. The desert flora can also inflict pain with an arsenal of needles, spines, and thorns. Wind-blown yuccas brandish spear-like daggers, while hidden goat heads or puncture vine seedlings deliver blowouts. Cactus spines are equally wicked, with jumping chalice detaching barbed segments at a touch. The drying climate allows such spikes to thrive when other greenery withers, so mind where you roam and frolic here lest a wayward step leave you impaled. Getting acquainted with the local botany takes patience and a good pair of boots. Number three, high elevation hazards. People with respiratory conditions quickly learn why New Mexico ranks as America's fifth highest state. 
with an average elevation of 5,700 feet. The thin air at altitude comes with challenges. Northern New Mexico towns like Taos and Angel Fire rise above 7,000 feet. At such heights, oxygen levels dip noticeably. Visitors often feel lightheaded and fatigued until acclimating. The arid climate also worsens pollution, creating smog pockets in Albuquerque. Forest fire smoke easily becomes trapped in mountain valleys. For those vulnerable to air quality issues, New Mexico's soaring elevations demand caution. Number two, extreme desert heat. New Mexico is hot, but not the dry kind of hot. We're talking sizzle on the sidewalk hot. Blast furnace temperatures above 105 degrees are typical in summer. By July, daily highs flirt with 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The state record sits at a sweltering 122 degrees. Such extremes teach newcomers the meaning of heat stroke and send them scurrying to air-conditioned shelter. July 2011 saw Las Vegas, New Mexico hit above 100 degrees Fahrenheit for 33 consecutive days. While the abundant sun cooks up mean green chilies, it also bakes the unwary. Avoid heat exhaustion here by pacing yourself, hydrating regularly, and saving outdoor activities for early mornings. And at number one, Texas? No thanks. Joking aside, New Mexico's close proximity to Texas does impact people's willingness to move here. For Northeasterners and West Coasters especially, fears of a conservative Southern culture persist. Compared to its liberal neighbors Colorado and Arizona, New Mexico is seen as more traditional. Some also believe crime from border towns permeates the state, though data doesn't support this. While New Mexico shares a border and similarities with Texas, its Hispanic heritage and independent streak differentiate it. Still, Overcoming inevitable Texas stereotypes remains an obstacle when convincing outsiders to visit, much less relocate. Well, there you have it. The inside scoop on why New Mexico remains a sparsely populated state despite its natural beauty. Longtime residents embrace its quirks and challenges, from economic uncertainty to desert menaces. But these realities still discourage many dreamers eyeing New Mexico as their next home, just remember its magic reveals itself slowly to newcomers. With an open mind, one may yet be enchanted by the land of enchantment. Let us know in the comments if we missed any other factors that give people pause about moving to New Mexico. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more insider looks at fascinating destinations.